Then I've taken the top off, and this is called the quilt box. It's basically like an attic that you have in your home. Uh, this hive you don't see very much of. What you typically see out in the fields are called Langstroth. Those are the ones that are painted all kind of wild colors, and there's a big box. This is more for the bees, to give the bees more comfort. This is naturally how they do their hives. They go up and down versus the other ones where they have to hang sideways. So anyway, we've smoked some of the bees. i got to get moving kind of quick. So I'm going to unhook this. And I'm going to remove the quilt. And they're out of food completely, but we're not going to add any more food. They should have enough stuff in there by now. Now when I pull this off, there's going to be a big hole in this burlap, so we're going to put a new piece of burlap over it. I just make sure they stay down in there and they don't get up in the quilt box. Oh, see, they're all over. Oh. Do I have any underneath? Yes, they're all over the bottom here, too. I'll just lay it over sideways so yeah. they're trapped. Now I'm going to take off this old piece of burlap. Glenn, you want to smoke here, dear? Thank you. Uh, you got it. That's good. Are you going to look for the clean before you put the Yeah, uh, I'm taking this off. Okay. See, we got a string of bees on here. We're just going to leave it there. Um, now, it looks like so far we have one, two, three and a half combs. Or really, these aren't really whole combs yet. Oh, we'll get a picture right here. You can see that they aren't capped yet. So what I'm hunting for is capped uh, comb, and that means that the it'll be the larva in there. I'm gonna pull this out very gently if I can. Be careful. And it seems to be attached. No, nope. here it comes, Glenn. I don't see the queen over here. Do you see the queen on this side, dear? No. Okay. Well, what I want to do, because we know that they're in there laying and stuff, and we know she's in there, otherwise they wouldn't be on the comb like this. So I'm just going to shut the hive up, but it looks like we got some crooked bars here. And that means a honeycomb could grow into each other. That one there is not all the way down. That one was the one that was attached. Okay. I think. I kind of. Okay. I'm going to cover this back up so they can't, like I said, can't get up in the quilt box. And really, she'd only start with two hives. We just, or, or two boxes. We just had three on there for the feeder. Uh, you don't want that box, do you? You want the quilt box, right? Oh, <laughs> thank you, apprentice. <laughs> After I just said, we only need two boxes. You should hear it. I don't know if you move the camera closer, see if they can hear the sound. It's just incredible. Busy little bees. Oh, I didn't see any ants in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're okay on ants. I think the bees are getting them, but I'm, we're getting, supposed to get heavy rain again tomorrow, so I'm not going to put down my mixture of uh, Vaseline and cinnamon because uh, ants hate cinnamon. Mm -hmm. But the bees don't care. Oh, I got a scrap. And yeah, we're supposed to have tornadoes tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you can, you'll have to adjust the height of it this time. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Will it go down any further? Uh, it should. It tightens kind of like the way a dog collar strap does. You oh. have to kind of pull it down close to the... Yeah. You may want to... It's going the way down. Not much. Yeah, 
Maybe too long. Huh? It might be too long, truck. Oh. You don't need to be taping this, dear. I'm hanging upside down. Okay, I'll stop it.